Okay, people. Um, as you can see, uh, with the so-called um, medical appointment yesterday with my GP, um, one, she talks over the top of you. Two, she doesn't have any medical notes or case files to go from. Three, she stated herself, ACC is the people who are causing all the post-traumatic stress in this case. Uh, four, I didn't even get the opportunity to actually talk to her about all my symptoms. Um, five, she didn't as much as do one medical check on any of my injuries. Uh, didn't touch my body, didn't do my blood pressure, didn't do um, anything that's going on. And I spoke to you about uh, in, the, in my other videos, you know what I mean, you get high, high and low blood pressure and everything else. And you can see the consultation that I gave before I even went on to the doctor's surgery. Um, had my daughter with me and uh, didn't want any arguments. I was polite as I could be. Um, and it's like, as you can see, she just, it's like, I think it was nine minutes from the minute I got up of the seat, walked into your office to the time I'd actually walked out again. Um, colonoscopy or whatever you want to call it I don't even know where that came into it um, talking about my hip um, you know it's like you're talking it's it's like you're a product you're not an actual patient you know and uh, you know her, her action should have been to have me a proper properly assessed by a forensic psychiatrist and have all my experiences properly documented um, dealing with a post-traumatic stress should be number one on the actual agenda, but it's not. I mean, you say she's, she's just, uh, you know, I have, to, I have to ask myself sometimes, is she a doctor or is she a drug dealer or is she a, <laughs> you know, it's like, and I, I don't mean that to, to literally play her down, but at the end of the day, um, she's, she's prescribing um, medications and... Uh, she really hasn't got a clue even what she's actually prescribing them for. It's um, and you just get sick of this uh, throwing a tablet at you, you know. Um, they're not actually dealing with anything, and uh, it becomes very, very, very uh, traumatic on top of the trauma that you're already suffering from, and uh, you have to be very careful not to get into conflict. You have to be very careful to not get into confrontations. You have to be very careful to, you know, you have to take into consideration a lot of different things. And these people are trying to, they tried to claim that I was insane or criminally insane before that. I think I'm the only sane person involved in this case. Um, and I mean literally sane. I mean, say for these people, I think they're just running products, patients or products. Um, Nobody's actually addressing anything. And my arm is lame. It's completely lame. And it's, um, it's causing me a lot, a lot of problems. And uh, the numbness caused me a lot of problems again. But, you know, I wanted to discuss with her my sinus problems, my ear problems, you know, my neck problems. I wanted to discuss everything. But, um, well, let's start with your hip. And then she's admitted that there's no medical notes or medical files to work from. So, um, and I, I can't blame her, even though they went missing at the time of, she was the first con um, doctor that I went to see after the death of Dr. Brett Roach. Because um, I can't prove it was her that got rid of them. They, she might never have got them from Dr. Brett Roach. You know, there's, there's many different scenarios. But what is, what is definite is that someone is sabotaging my case and my life within these uh, ACC Crown and Government Departments. And someone is literally having me start from point A, point A, point A. This is all fraudulent activity. These are all actions aimed at costing me money left, right and center. And these are all the actions of this Nazi-run organization of ACC. This country is an abortion when it comes to medical and treatment needs, when it comes to rehabilitation. For a lot of victims, it's an abortion. And uh, those responsible are not competent, but yet they're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for being incompetent. Um, 
I want the world to know this. I want to know, the world to know exactly what kind of Nazi-run system this truly is. What kind of corruption this truly is. And because you can't get properly compensated, and because there's no proper lawful forums for suing these people, they're getting away with murder. They can get away with all the crimes they like. And uh, the entire legal system of New Zealand is nothing but organized crime. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to go back and see this GP again. I'm not going to post this video right now because um, I want to do a few segments. Um, and then and, and just do it gradually. Um, there's another point I want to bring up yesterday. I lived in a... After I had to move out of my house and uh, losing everything, I moved into a housing New Zealand house. And I bumped into an old neighbour yesterday and uh, he informed me that uh, this house that I'd lived in that was supposed to be tested for pee before I went into it, or methamphetamine, um, I was told that it was clean. And then yesterday I found out from the neighbour who's um, one of his family members moved into the house and she had it swept for pee and according to her it actually uh, was used for methamphetamine. I had my children living in that house so I'm really pissed off and I wrote off a, an email to the Minister for Housing uh, next month and I sent that email to Housing New Zealand itself uh, demanding that a full investigation be done into this and that um, I sent it off to Rob Stock, uh, the media, and I sent it off to my ACC to get. So I'm not happy about this. Um, in fact, it's just another saga in, in this case of uh, compromising me. When I lived in that house, I was very, very ill. I was very run down. I was very sick all the time. I had chest infections and everything. Continually, uh, I ended up with two mild heart attacks while I lived in that house. And I always thought there was something wrong with it. But I was assured by them that that house was clean and it was never ever used for a, for methamphetamine or a pee lab. So since I've left that house, my health and well-being's picked up a bit. And uh, I was able to travel overseas even. But um, I still have these sinus problems since I, I left that house. And I got those sinus problems when I moved into that house. And, uh, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty bad. So, um, so I'm really pissed off about that. But uh, I'm seeking further investigation into that. But that's just another saga in this case. Um, I'll go back and see this GP next week because um, I can't sort of leave it months at a time this time. Um, I have to keep on top of this. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, the consultation is an absolute disgrace. And uh, one has to ask if she's an actual GP or not. Anyway, that's me for uh, now on that segment. And uh, I actually just had a sleep, which is fucking miracles. I had eight hours sleep for the first time in three days. So that was quite good. So uh, anyway, as you can see, she's um, issued uh, more tablets without actually even sitting down and talking to me about anything. So one has to ask what she's actually given all this medication for. A tablet's going to solve everything. Don't think so. Anyway, um, I'm just going to keep pushing forward and uh, hopefully this will end peacefully. But at the rate they're going, <coughs> these people just don't give a shit about anybody but themselves and I'm sick of being treated like a fucking product. Anyway, all the best.